Look what I'm drinking. Oh. Ooh. Where'd you get that? There's a Starbucks just up the hotel. Oh. How did I not know that? <laughs> Remember when I met you and 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 you were all American in Paris and and you told me and you took me to the Starbucks? But the first place I really took you on a kind of double date was uh, that Mexican restaurant where we had the tiny margaritas. First time, yeah, was margaritas. Second time was Starbucks. Right. That started off very chic, <laughs> very sartorialist. <laughs> <laughs> With the margaritas that were only that big. Yeah. And we were like, oh, oh my God. God. It's so sweet. Yes. And, and what uh, did you do? Well, you know, I wanted an American sized margarita, so. The, I ordered you the little shot glass margaritas and I ordered, you know, the pitcher was only about that big. So I had a pitcher of margarita with a straw in it. <laughs> and I figured if, if she'll stay for more than one drink with me drinking from a pitcher of margarita with a straw in it, then maybe I have a chance. Hello. Before and after shows are some of my favorite moments. Little nothing moments that make Fashion Week fun and new. Like... Me and Sophie walking backwards and talking, in English, about my DP as if he was not there. Don't worry, he my loves it. Cadre, my camera, man. Your cadre is amazing. <laughs> Once again. All naked, all naked. Oh yes, ah. just for a few fun. And chatting, or just smiling before the beginning of the show. Beautiful Kenzo show. The atmosphere was amazing with those projections, those prints, a real eye candy. That said, between shows is also a moment to do other kinds of stuff. The whole thing about my fashion weeks is that I never have time to go back to the hotel in the middle of the day. So I have to work on my phone, do my makeup whenever I can, and even watch and edit the videos as we go, right here. I'm in the car writing the title of the intense lipstick video we published a couple of days ago. I love working like that on the car. Well, unless we get stuck in traffic. For 45 minutes and we basically just cross the sand. And, uh, and it can make me pretty annoying. Look, it's coming. Alright, I know, I know. Okay, let's go to Stella. You know why people love Fashion Week in Paris? Of course, because of the fashion. But also because, unlike in any other city, the places where fashion shows take place are crazy beautiful. Like here, the Stella show at the Paris Opera? What's not to love? Okay, time to say hello to a very talented friend. I'm excited to show you my video. Oh, oh, I go in. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, so this, is, this is my shop. It yes, sense. absolutely. And like the shop, like the furniture here is like a mix of vintage. So the, I found it in the free market. You see the seat, mm -hmm. the table. And then because of space is... Um, Let's say, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a jewelry special. box. It's I jewelry don't know if there is a, a what. It's, exactly it's like a jewelry box, exactly but but it doesn't feel. You know, you could have when you think jewelry box, you would think maybe pink and you know like yeah, a very. It, it's this is exactly the opposite. I wanted yeah, to, I wanted relax. something relax, Saint Germain. Easy, yes, and um, I think it's almost the problem is that when you're here, you kind of want a cocktail. Right? Should we need cocktails? Uh, yes, I think it's a, it should totally be cocktail. You know, like what cocktail do you drink in Positano? What I love the most about your style of jewelry is the mix of everything. Yes, you're not scared of putting too no, much. No, no, you have to. 
Yes. Because this is what, how it looks nice, you know? Yes, perfect. And you can. You can? Yeah, totally. Because ah. this is a new... It's a new... Ah! The new one. one. Bye. <laughs> Moments with my team. This is the best part of my fashion week. Working with people I love. They work hard and also they're pretty crazy. It's here. Yeah. You don't have the mirror glasses? No? Bye. No mirror glasses? I've been working on it. I'm like, okay. I loved Chloe. It felt very light and strong at the same time. A very good Chloe show that made me want summer to start all over again. <laughs> bon, ok, after that, it was high time for cocktails with two very entertaining girls. So, hi! Hello! Let's do it! Uh, <laughs> well, uh, did you arrive in Paris today or yesterday? I arrived, we both arrived yesterday. Yeah. Oh. I came to Berlin. Did you? Yeah, what were you doing in Berlin? I was just doing a job out there, just for a day and a yeah. night, and then flew directly straight into Paris. And you came late Eurostar, right? Late Eurostar. Late Eurostar. Came just to the hotel. For dinner. Just in time for dinner and drinks and laughter. Yeah. So she's got the rave party house, and I've got the hammam downstairs. <laughs> you've got a I don't understand why. That's, just... That's the sensibility that you should no ask way. yourself. Are you going to do a party? Are you, you're going to do an improvised party, right? Sure and I have to come. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's, what, what, what's Fashion Week for you? Is it like a ton of shows? Are you doing some designers that you choose? What? Um, well, actually Paris, whenever I come to Paris, I only really do um, Chanel and Vuitton. I see my bookers and I and I and I go to parties, I guess. <laughs> like and a I real see all the people that you want to see. Yeah. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah. And it's more of a good time, whereas London Fashion Week for me is more sort of work. At the Chanel show, the Vuitton show, I, sh I feel like I'm at the center of the world. And then the uni like yeah. where you should be, you know? Like there is a train arriving and you're like, oh my god, it's crazy. I'm in that room yeah, right now. Back, so yeah. Totally. Stuff. Yeah. Do you want to ask Poppy a question and then she asks you a question? What do you lie about within the fashion industry? Oh Thank you! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. Something, I might start lying about my age soon. <laughs> you know what I do? You just, uh, yeah, let people say what they want. I'm 26, but sometimes people are like, you're 25, right? I go, yeah, yeah I'm 25. <laughs> um, if you could sleep with one designer, you would <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All this talk that we've had <laughs> over the last 24 hours about Peter Dundas is going to make me have to look at him in a different way. Oh, well, he's coming for dinner tonight, so... Well, Peter, watch out. We're having a little, <laughs> you know, cosy chat in the corner. I'm going to come over Um. We know I'm the tonic. I know, where is it? And that's it for my third diary. See you later, guys. Yeah.